Hello guys, welcome to this important video. Today we will learn about how can I insert multiple blank rows in my Google Sheet and how can I use shortcut to insert blank rows and at the end I will disclose a hack how to insert multiple blank rows in a matter of few seconds. So stay tuned and watch till the end. So I have three columns, ID, location and quantity. If I want to insert any blank row, so what I will do, I will right click where I want to insert row. Then you can see the option insert one row above or below. I can insert the row above or below. So if I want to insert row below, click this one. It will insert a blank row underneath this row for me. So control Z to go back. And second part is the shortcut key to insert the blank row. For example, if I want to insert row here, so I will click the any cell and then shift space. It will select the whole row. And then the shortcut key is, is Alt I R and you can insert row either above or below. If I choose above, enter, it will insert the row above my selected row. So control Z to go back. So if you want to add multiple blank rows, you need to repeat this process again and again, but don't worry. Last part of the video. So I will disclose a hack. If you have like thousands of row, rows and you want to insert blank row after each row. So how can you do this quickly? So I will tie one, two, I want to insert blank row after each of this row. So I will tell you the hack. So, so firstly, type one, two, and then copy till the end of the data and then copy these all, all numbers and then just paste underneath the number 14. Then select all those numbers till the end and then from here go to data and you can see the sort sheet sort sheet by column f click this one and boom you can see the in blank row has been inserted after each row so after each filled row there is a blank row it's showing me the headings at the bottom of the data so there's no really problem i can insert the row here and and then I can just copy my headings here. This is how you can quickly insert and blank rows in a matter in a matter of a few seconds, especially when you have thousands of the rows, you, you want to quickly insert the blank rows. So you insert the blank rows. So I can just delete it and I can use my data as it is. Hit the like button if you like this video and make sure to subscribe my channel if you want to watch more tips and tricks.